Eh, hi, Silla and Swandile. I'm Luis Kisa from Scrum ESPN Argentina. Silla, uh, Warren Gatland said tomorrow's. Eh, <coughs> sorry. Eh, Warren Gatland eh, said tomorrow's game is a final for the Lions. Eh, do you leave it in the same way, or is it, is it simply a match that also serves as a preparation for the rugby championship? Oh, no. It's um, definitely a final for us, too. Um, that's been. That's been the talk amongst our team um, this whole week. You know, we worked so hard to get ourselves in this position, and yeah, and tomorrow is everything. We're not even thinking about next week. Uh, we're throwing everything tomorrow um, in the game. It's a very important game for us as a group. As I said earlier, um, some of us, this is it. We will never get another opportunity to play the Lions again. So we'll be foolish if we're looking to see this game as preparation for the following week. So yeah, everyone who's involved, guys that are playing, guys that are not playing, they've thrown everything to make sure that we're prepared and ready um, for, for the game tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. Uh, Ken Bolin. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, afternoon to you and to Sia and, and Imzondile. Um, Sia, just, uh, just to follow up on that, um, I think many people think last week's second half was one of the best Springbok performances um, for a very long time. Um, how much of a realization is it, that, and how much of a motivation is it this week, though, that if you guys don't win tomorrow, then you know all of that effort, all of that um, excellent play, kind of falls by the wayside. It, it gets forgotten because the, the series will be lost. Yeah, it is. That's exactly. Um, what you know you you know you speak about all those things you know you you play to get somewhere and now we are in a position you know where we wanted to be um last week we prepared to get here and now we're here and we know this is the one that counts everything that we've done before doesn't count so we've worked as hard as we can to make sure we fix what we had to fix you know we had a good training a week we prepared a lot of the field guys are still preparing looking at the clips to see how we can get better you know this is this is our final. This is our final, and it does give us confidence. By the way, we played last week. You know, you take your last game into confidence, but this one is what matters the most. So we want to remember this one more than anything else. Thank you, Sia. And Will Kelly, you're up next. Hi there. This is one for um, Sia. Have you found it disappointing that this series has kind of been so full of? fight as was mentioned earlier do you think that it could have been a bit more of a positive series off and on the field for rugby so if we say the first part again oh, sorry the, the name yeah, has, you... have oh. you been disappointed in the fact that this series has been so full of sort of backbiting and spite off the field to be honest like for for, for me um the the on-field stuff is what I care about. The on full stuff, there's a enough um, responsibility, you know, me performing, us as a team performing, you know, and that I can't worry too much about what's happening off the field. Uh, we, we, we focus as the players, the players on playing rugby on the field, you know, and that's all we could do, you know, and, you know, these things happen off the field, can't control that, you know, and, um, I've really been on the field. It's been tough. It's been a tough rugby game. Last week was good, I think, you know, and, and that's what we're looking for tomorrow. I can't think of what happened. I can't change. We can't change what happened in the past. Tomorrow is, is what matters the most when the first whistle goes until the last whistle goes. So I can't think too much of that. I don't want to comment on that. I just want us to focus on the game that's about to happen tomorrow, which is the most important thing. Just on the style of play point as well, that's come up a lot in this series, and Zwan Dile's talked about it today. Um, do you feel like the rest of the world is kind of disrespecting what you guys have achieved with the World Cup win and what you might achieve this week by saying that it's all physicality, it's all boring and all that sort of thing? Does that annoy you? No, not at all. That's why we, still, we haven't changed our plans. We're still playing the same way we did. That's who we are. We can't run away from that. We South Africans. We've got... God, it works for us, you know, it's like us going and looking at another team that's winning while we're complaining about how they're playing. I can't do that, they're winning. It's either you're going to join them or you're just going to learn a few things from them that you can go forward. So yeah. we can't change who we are. 